Good morning friends. In this video, we will discuss another example for constructing the DFA for better understanding. Let me read out the question. Construct the minimal DFA over alphabets A comma B for a long wave L1 contains strings starting with B. Now there is a new word for you, minimal DFA. So till now, what are the three examples you have discussed? They are all DFAs. So what is this minimal DFA? Minimal DFA means you have a DFA, it can have some six states or n number of states are there. Minimal DFA means you are reducing the number of states. When I can say it is minimal DFA, if it is having less than six, it can be five or it can be four. Then I say that I have reduced the DFA. What is the advantage of reducing the DFA? If you have six states, then you have to store them in the memory. If you make it into five states, then the memory storage memory will be less. So you are saving the memory. Is it clear? The storage memory, you are reducing it. So instead of DFA, we can go for minimal DFA. So that's why people will go for minimizing the DFA. If it is possible, they will do it. Anyway, don't worry. How to minimize the DFA, I will discuss with an example. So don't worry. So now I'm not discussing how to minimize the DFA. I'm just discussing that why I'm discussing the minimal DFA. And another uh, what you call another point is there why I have taken the minimal DFA for any long ways L1 whatever the long ways you can have more than more than one DF you can have more than one DFA is possible remember one thing for a long ways L1 or whatever the long ways over the alphabets you can have more than one DFA is it clear? Means if I construct the DFA, then you will get another DFA. There is a possibility of another DFA also because it is having more than one DFA. So if I solve one DFA, or if I construct one DFA, then you will get, you will try to find another solution. Then you will get confused. So whether SAR has discussed is correct or I have whatever I have got is correct or not. If all the strings are accepted in the long ways in your DFA, and which are the strings does not belongs if it is not accepting even yours is also correct so don't get confused whereas minimal dfa you will have only one minimal dfa is possible so for a long ways you will have only one, one minimal dfa is possible so if it is only one minimal dfa whatever i am discussing is only possible so you will not get another minimal dfa is it clear so you will not get confused Anyway, if you want to construct the DFA, you can go ahead, but you can have, can get more than one DFA also. Whereas if you get solving minimal DFA, you will get one minimal DFA. So that's why from now onwards, I will discuss the examples with minimal DFA. Why? Because of the two situations. One is that we can reduce the number of states and another one is because of the number of DFAs possible. Okay. Now, I need to find the strings which be belongs to long ways L1. If I find the strings which belongs to the long ways L1, then only I can construct the minimal DFA. So, the long ways L1, what they are saying? String starts with B. So, the smallest string possible is B because B is starting itself. Okay. The next one is BA is possible because it is starting with B. The next one is BB of length 2 is possible now you can say a is accepted no a is not accepted why it is not starting with b is it clear now of this is of length 1 this is of length 2 okay length 3 is b b b b a a okay b a b b b a so these are the four strings possible with length 3 which are starting with B if you see that every string it is starting with alphabet B then I can get the length 4 I can get the length 5 so length 6 so what I can say whether it is a finite long ways or infinite long ways it is an infinite long ways okay so we will up to 3 we will write and remain in this etc okay now I need to construct the DFA or minimal DFA. So first what I have to take, I have to take some initial state 
Q0, I will construct for B. If it is single B, it should be accepted. If it is B, it should accept. When I can say that it is accepted, if it is going to the final state. From the initial state, here Q0 is the initial state. If you are taking the string B, you should go to the final state. If you see that you are going to the final state, so I can say that B is accepted. Okay, now we will see whether A should be accepted. A should not be accepted because that's why I have not written A here. Now I need to accept BB or I need to accept BB. I need to accept BBB. I need to accept BBB. I need to accept B followed by any number of B's, anything it should be accepted because all the strings which are starting with B only. So we should accept. So if it is 1B, we are accepting. If it is second B, we should accept. If it is repeating, see, 2B's it should accept. Are you able to understand it or not? The error is here. Okay. So 2B's is accepting. 3B's accepting. 4B's is accepting. Why it is accepting? If you see 3B's, Q0, initial state on B, you are reaching Q1. Q1 on second B, you are in the Q1 itself. Q1 on third B, you are in the Q1. So finally, you are reaching to the final state called Q1. So I can say that 3Bs are accepting. 4Bs will be accepted. 5Bs, everything will be accepted. Now I want to see another situation. BA should be accepted. BAA should be accepted. B 4A should be accepted, B 3A should be accepted, all these are also possible because all the strings are also starting with the alphabet B. So what I can write B, A. See when you will represent comma is that it, it is from Q1 on B also it is going to some state Q1 on A also it is going. The meaning is that on alphabet A or alphabet B it is going to Q1. Like that you can write it. Okay. So now if you see that. We have accepted BA. We have accepted BB. We have accepted BA all these things. Now we want to check whether BAB is accepted or not. B. Q0 on B you are going to Q1. Q1 on A you are coming to Q1. From Q1 on B it is there in the Q1 itself. So from Q0 you have reached to the state called q1 after traversing the entire string so q1 is a final state yes q1 is a final state so i can say that it is accepting now my thing my question is whether it is a complete dfa or not when it will be a complete dfa if from each state if you give the moves on all the alphabets if you see that q0 on a we did not discuss anything on a it is not there anyway but on B we have written Q1 on A and B we have written. So from Q0 on A we have not discussed. Is it clear? So I can say that it is not a complete DFA. Now when I can say that it is a complete DFA, from Q0 there should be a move on A. Is it clear? On alphabet A there should be a move. Now my question is that, sir why can't I write A, comma, a here itself? If I write A here, why you are writing to a separate state? If I write to A here, then what will happen? It will accept A A also. See, Q naught on A, it is going to Q naught on A, it is going to Q1. Q1 on A, it is going to Q1. So Q1 is a final state or not? Q1 is a final state. So even it is accepting A A. That it should accept, it should not accept. Is it clear? So this is not the correct one. So where I should go? I cannot go to Q1. So I should go to some state. Let me write this one as a dead state. D. Is it clear? Now if you see whether it is a complete DFA or not, you tell me. Q0 on A, we are going to some state. Q0 on B, we are going to some state. Q1 on A, we are going to some state. Q1 on B, we are going to some state. On D also, on A and B, we are going to the state D. So, from each state, on all the alphabets, we are going to some only one state. So I can say that it is a DFA, means complete DFA. And even it is a DFA because on Q0 on A, we are going to only one state called D. Q0 
Q0 on B, we are going to one state called Q1. Is it clear? So I can say that it is a DFA and it is also a complete DFA. Okay. See, there is no word called complete DFA. Just to make you understand, I am telling this called complete DFA. Means you have represented all the moves. So now you can ask me, sir, why you are going to a dead state? Because it, they sh it should not accept the st strings which are starting with A. If anything is act starting with A, it should go to a state called D, which is from that state it cannot come back. Let me see this one. A, B, A, B. It should accept or not. It should not accept. Am I right? Because the string does not belong to the long base L1. So if you see that from Q0 on A, you are going to D. From D on B, you are going to the state called D. D on A, you are going to D itself. D on B, you are going to D itself. Whether D is a final state, D is not a final state. So I can say that A, B, A, B is not accepted. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? So why you are calling this as a dead state or trap state is that once you reach to this state, you cannot go anywhere else. You will be there in this state called D. So we will call this as a dead state or trap state because we are trapped. Okay. So I hope you have understood how I have constructed the minimal DFA over alphabets A comma B on a long base L1 contains strings starting with D. Okay. If you does not understand, you go through the video again and you watch the previous videos also. Thank you so much.